hello and welcome to my channel where i'll be taking up the second part of the lesson memories of childhood from class 12th in this part we are going to read about the childhood of bama a dalit dalit girl belonging to tamil tamil nadu so the narrator recalls the time when she was studying in third standard let me remind you that these stories are of discrimination faced by the two girls in the first part we read about we heard about the girl zit kala sa what kind of discrimination she faced in school in this part we'll be talking about bama so the narrator recalls the time when she was studying in third standard she had not heard of untouchability yet but she had experienced and humiliated by it she had faced this discrimination talking about her childhood she remembers taking half an hour to one hour to reach home from school now her school was only 10 minutes at 10 minutes walking distance but she took one hour to reach home why was so because on the way she stopped to watch and look at the things happening all around her the games the fun the um, you know all odd things happening on the street the bazaar everything appealed to her a lot there were so many amazing things to observe like the performing monkey the snake charmer and his snake the cyclist who had been pedaling for three consecutive days she saw pongal offering being cooked at mariyatta temple heard speeches by no politicians watched street plays puppet shows the cooling of coffee etc so there were so many things which you know distracted her or didn't let her reach home on time the market the narrator noticed was flooded with seasonal fruits and vegetables and a number of desserts and snacks being prepared in sweet shop always tempted the narrator watching all this coming back from school delayed her one day the narrator saw a very strange sight she saw the landlord seated over a stone ledge watching her caste people work very hard to separate grain from the straw the narrator found it humorous that how you know cattle were being uh, driven round and round by men for this process she then saw an elderly man from her village coming from the direction of the bazaar the big man was carrying a small packet of vadai in such a way that the narrator almost burst out laughing he held the packet by its string and tried not to touch it the man went to the landlord bowed low offered him the packet of vadais with both hands and he did not attempt or did dare to touch the landlord's food when the narrator finally reached home she narrated the story to her elder brother and started laughing that why didn't that man touch the packet however her brother did not laugh he explained to her that people like the landlord considered themselves belonging to upper caste for them people like the elderly man her brother and she herself other others from her community belonged to the lower caste and they were untouchables in the eyes of the society to the people of the upper caste touching an untouchable would mean that the upper caste has become polluted that is why the elderly man did not hold the packet of varais hearing all this the narrator was furious She also heard of an incident which her brother had to face. One day, when his brother was coming back from college, somebody asked him where he lived. The purpose of asking this was to find out to which community 
her brother belonged to. So all this made the narrator very, very angry. She thought whether the upper caste people would so was so devoid of hu human feelings that they did not consider other lower caste people too are human beings? Did she feel that they had no humanity in them? Her brother then advised her that since they were born in this community, the only way they could claim respect and honor was by studying hard and making progress. He told the narrator to learn as much as she could. If she was ahead of everybody in her lesson, everybody would come to her on their own and attach themselves to her. Therefore, it was important for her to work hard and learn. Those words said by her brother made a deep impact on the narrator's mind. She studied with great effort and stood first in class. Since she was a bright student, many people became her friends, just like her brother had said. So I hope you have understood the lesson. Do let me know if you have any doubts. So in this chapter, basically, we saw a girl facing discrimination just because she was born to a caste different from the other caste people. And they considered them untouchables. And... Uh, उसके भाई के हिसाब से एक ही तरीका है बाकी लोगों के नजरों में इज्जत पाने का और वो है पढ़ाई करने का उसके भैया के हिसाब से जो लोग पढ़ लेते हैं लोग उसकी बहुत इज्जत करते हैं तो ये सुनकर बामा ने बहुत पढ़ाई की और वो एक बहुत ही फेमस राइटर बनी थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे